Hello, my name is Angel Zakhariev and I'm a founder and manager of ANA Architects from Sofia, Bulgaria. So we are doing a lot of projects in the field of um, public buildings, mm -hmm. uh, offices, cultural buildings, uh, residential also, mm -hmm. and also urban design. And uh, tell me, what uh, is brick architecture in your opinion? Uh, well, in, in my opinion, the brick architecture is uh, we can we can split this question to mm -hmm. to the answer to to few things. For, first, uh, it it could be expressed as a main material for building the visual appearance of the building. Mm -hmm. uh, on the second level, it could be inside the building. It's it's not it could be not mm -hmm. so visible, but uh, it is a substantial part of the uh, sustainability because it's mm -hmm. a natural product. It's a product that. Um, using actually the natural resources mm -hmm. in the best way that it, they could be. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're doing also a lot of, um, they improve also what, uh, the environment inside the building. Mm -hmm. So this, these are very substantial material. This is, this is one of the basic materials mm -hmm. since the, the cities uh, are established at all in our... Tell me, can we create modern architecture with bricks? Uh, certainly, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I completely agree that uh, uh, the, the modern architecture, the contemporary architecture and the brick, they are very, very related. And um, despite the fact that we are now in the glass conference or in the facade conference, uh, the brick and the glass, and uh, they are also very uh, connected mm -hmm. to each other. So mm -hmm. I, I believe that really it's possible to, to have a contemporary architecture with okay. bricks. We are in the middle of the conference and I want to ask you a few, uh, a few questions about the conference. Uh, what are your impressions? Yeah, the conference is, is very interesting for me. It's my mm -hmm. first time in this conference mm -hmm. uh, and uh, really the lectures are interesting mm -hmm. and uh, we are sharing this knowledge uh, and I mm -hmm. think it will be very useful for every one of us. Yeah. So um, is the role of the architect not only to create projects but to also go to people and talk about the project and show them? Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the, the role of the architect now is really getting more complicated than let's say 20 or 30 years ago and it is because there's a lot of uh, process that are going mm -hmm. in society and uh, and the architects also are having much more much more uh, let's say uh, places to work and um, and uh, they can use the te new technologies mm -hmm. to express themselves in a better way. They can, uh, let's say, they, they're sometimes like a mediator between the society and the, uh, and the technicians. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's very important than the, the role of now of the architecture. It's not only to make the project, but also to, to let's say, to improve the world, improve mm -hmm. the, all the conditions that, you know, all the problems that we have now. What's your dream? I mean, your architectural dream to c to create what? Well, uh, really, we have a a lot of big, large-scale projects, but I think that uh, I I I dream for a for a some kind of iconic small project like a church, for example, mm -hmm. or for a small library or a small museum for mm -hmm. something, and uh, and I. I hope that some with someday <laughs> with, with, with <laughs> bricks. Yes, why not? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.